After years as the center of Pablo Escobar's drug operation and decades of violence, Colombia's second largest city is quickly shedding its reputation. Medellin is now everything that a modern city should be, large and affordable, with access to an expansive public transit system featuring the gondola lift system designed to reach some of the city's informal settlements on the steep hills. The city is now safer than it has ever been. We wanted to travel to Medellin and work with some of the parkour community from among the settlements in the mountains surrounding the city in a neighborhood called Aurora, accessible via this lift system. Parkour has long become a global phenomenon and we really wanted to showcase this group in this side of the city. to do prior to, uh, to actually pulling off the shoot was in at least uh, like a full day kind of scouting out some of the locations and working with as many people th uh, that we can that we would be shooting just to kind of uh, build a bit of rapport. It would give us some time to see the actual locations. At one of the evenings after we had gotten kind of done with uh, scouting out most of the locations we went back to uh, up into Aurora with Camilo our host and uh, we got to meet one of the street performers. We got to meet with uh, Pedro Antonio and uh, he, he kind of is, uh, he's this older gentleman, he, uh, he'll go out on the street and he'll balance things on either his nose or his chin and so we kinda, he kind of gave us a bit of a performance there. Overall it was, it was a lot of fun, to, really, really enjoyable to kind of go in and, and just kind of meet these people and have conversations and see where they live. Bueno, el grupo se llama Parkour Aurora porque vivimos en todo el occidente de la ciudad. Entonces, como el sol sale por oriente, siempre en los entrenamientos matutinos alcanzamos a ver el amanecer. Y por la tarde, igualmente, en, en los entrenamientos se ve el atardecer en esta zona que es el occidente donde vivimos. Vivimos en Nuevo Occidente, vivimos en la aurora. Y siempre podemos apreciar la aurora del amanecer y del atardecer. La aurora es el cambio entre el día y la noche, o la noche y el día. Y al igual que siempre verás una aurora, siempre verás a alguno de nosotros entrenando. Esa es nuestra filosofía. One of the problems that we ran into early on was the fact that we had some trouble finding smoke for the shots that we wanted to coordinate. And so we had to use WhatsApp to kind of search the city and find some fireworks stores actually. So we, uh, we actually went ahead and had to order some smoke grenades from a local fireworks shop here in Medellin. We could do it all through WhatsApp, which is actually kind of a kind of an interesting thing. Uh, and that's not something I guess you normally would find in, back home. Uh, it was really cool that we'd be able to send messages out to some fireworks shops and then they'd have it delivered to our door in about four hours or so. The guy over WhatsApp told us to be there by noon and by about 218, sure enough, the fireworks showed up. It was like a solid two hours right before the shoot, so we were kind of pretty close. Ultimately, it came through and uh, we're good to go. So when we showed up at the parkour park, immediately it was, was, was kind of tough actually because there was just, there were a lot of people around, there were a lot of uh, new participants, people we haven't met yet. We kind of had to ease our way into it a little bit and just kind of let them do their thing while we busted the cameras out and started just taking snapshots of the action so that they could kind of get comfortable with being photographed. And then once we built that rhythm up, we took out the lights and we started um, kind of putting together some of the shots that we had planned. And so uh, the, one of the leaders of, uh, of this group is, is Camilo here. He's also really into hip hop and rap battles and things like this. And so we really, it kind of had like this uh, bit of a, a tough guy persona that we really wanted to try and capture at this uh, section of the park that had uh, a lot of weights and workout equipment. Uh, this is where we, we placed him in the chair. And that morning we had also bought some baby oil so that we could kind of um, give him like a sweaty workout athletic vibe. This is where some of the smoke came into play. We, we put the smoke to one side of the shot so that the wind would carry it across his body. We didn't really have enough hands at that point, so it was just the two of us. So we recruited somebody who was kind of there as a passerby, also working out at the time, and explained to him what we were after. And he was really excited to join in on it. And so we really just needed Tim to hold the smoke down, light it up, and then as soon as it started making too much of a mess, he could run over and put it out with the water fountain that was in the park. Go, go, go. 
Ultimately, the results came out really, really good. We were pretty happy with how this went. It was really kind of a technical shot. We had uh, two different lights set up, kind of a, the key light beauty dish, and then we used uh, a second strobe in the back to give like a, a rim light on the shoulders to give it, give it some more depth. And with the smoke rolling across and the, uh, the serious tones and the settings of the weights, we were able to capture specifically what we wanted to. Camilo also was really interested in, in taking a chance to film a little bit of his hip hop too. Um, and so we definitely wanted to make sure that this was a, a, a bit of a give and take relationship because we were, we were asking a lot out of his time and their time. He also had kind of some of his own ideas about what he could do with the time and with all of the equipment that we had set up. So we definitely wanted to make him feel like he could uh, also get just as much value out of it as, as what we were going for. We um, set up kind of a run through with him with, with the lights and the baby oil and filmed some of the music that he makes and some of the raps that he's worked on. So on day two, we, uh, one of the first locations that we had scouted out previously was uh, a park called El Picacho. Estamos en El Picacho, uno de los miradores de Medellín. Estamos practicando parkour, haciendo también una sesión de fotos y es uno de nuestros lugares a los que salimos venir a entrenar, sobre todo en la mañana cuando hacemos entrenamientos de resistencia. Es un mirador donde se puede ver toda la ciudad, sobre todo el norte. We knew that this location would be really good for shooting because we really wanted to kind of capture the parkour guys and their relationship to the city. This part was uh, kind of challenging too because there's a lot of wind up there. We had to walk up this huge, huge steep hill on the way back, and uh, thankfully, uh, some random guy picked us up on the road, and we could we could pay him to take us down to the station. And then for the second location was more of an urban setting, and so another goal that we had with that one was to show a little bit more of the relationship between the, the city of Medellin and the guys themselves. And so the light was getting kind of low. So this one, this one was actually kind of tough because it was kind of in the middle of the road, and we were. In this unfamiliar neighborhood, there was a lot of traffic coming by. We had to keep watching for cars and trying to coordinate. Uh, and it, we think that these shots that really showcase kind of both their personalities as well as their home city and the relationship between, between these guys and the home city of Medellin.